Okay, so hopefully the concept of using functions as values is, you know, it makes sense. It's a bit weird if you're not familiar with these functional programming languages, but uh, yeah, once you get used to it, you can understand how you can have a variable pointing to a function, pass it around. Uh, and when I say pass it around, I do mean pass it around. So think about all the things you can do with a variable and a value. Anything you can do with a standard value, you can do with a function because a function is a value. So let's say you have a variable, which is a string. You can pass the string as an argument to another function, right? Similarly, if a variable is a function, you can actually pass that function as an argument to another function, okay? So you can have a, another function which executes the function that you pass to it, okay? Let me demonstrate that. Let's say I have, uh, let's keep this, f is a function. Now, rather than executing f directly, what I'm gonna do is clear this out and create another function var executor, which takes in a parameter which, let's say, happens to be a function, okay? And uh, let me just do a console.log here of whatever parameter I'm getting. And now I'm going to call the executor function if I don't call it with any arguments, it's gonna print undefined, right? So fn is gonna be undefined. Uh, if I pass it with a string, it's gonna take that string and it's gonna print it. Now I can pass a function as well. Now what's the function that we have here? f is a variable which contains a function. Now let me pass f to this function. Now the executor function takes that input and then it prints it. So it should actually print this function. Now what does printing a function look like? Let's see. Now here you see it prints function f. Uh, it doesn't print the contents over here, but it's kind of like a string representation of the function that we are passing. Okay, so it is able to get that function and actually print that function. But what we are interested in is not printing the function. What we are interested in is in executing the function. So in order to execute the function, it's pretty much the same same logic. So rather than have the same syntax. So rather than have an f open close, now the variable that contains the function is fn. So all I have to do is fn open close. And with this, I'm executing the function that gets passed to it. Now let me clear this out and um, reload and run. Now here you see hello gets printed, but here's the flow of control here. Uh, when this part gets executed, there's a variable called f which contains a function object. I think it's printed on the console. This part gets executed. There is an variable called executor, which contains a function object. Again, nothing gets printed on the console. This just says, okay, whatever is the value that gets input, treat it as a function and execute it. And now when we come to line 11, this is where we call function one and we pass in function two, right? So when this, when this line 11 gets printed, this function gets called and the value that it's uh, taking happens to be a function. So it executes it. So line seven gets executed. When line seven gets executed, this results in this function being called, and now line two gets executed, and this is where hello gets printed on the console, all right? So this is how you can pass functions as arguments and then execute them in other functions. And of course, if this were to take sub arguments, right? So let's say this, and of course, if the function that we are passing happens to take arguments, let's say this was, uh, this had a name as an argument, and then we had uh, hello name. Now, since we are not passing any arguments to this function, this would return hello undefined. However, I can pass a name argument over here to the executor and have the executor take that name argument and pass it to the function that's, that's being called here, which sends that name argument to f and now f should have the value Kaushik, which is passed through an intermediary function, okay? So now we get that value. So if this is confusing, pause for a minute and go through the flow here. It should be fairly obvious once you step through uh, the flow of execution. But the essential concept that I want you to take away from this uh, video is that you can pass a function as an argument to another function, possibly with the result of having that function being executed.